what is up y'all welcome back to another vlog this vlog is gonna be late this is what my hair looks like when i just come out of like the shower or the bath yeah this is why i never wear it like that literally what is this demon this week was the biggest show of my entire life i have to tell you guys everything that went on this weekend oh my god oh my god Oh my god, I just can't even. This week was Valentine's Day week, okay? So, you know, I wanna do something nice. I wanted to go out to like a nice dinner. I wore the cutest outfit. Insert photo of me at the restaurant. It was so cute. I got the dress off my of Amazon because I seen someone do like a TikTok of it on Pinterest. Like they were wearing the dress. And in the comments, people are like, this is on Amazon, this is on Amazon. So I literally looked it up and found it and wore that dress. It was so stinking cute. It takes an hour to get to the restaurant, okay? And we've been to this restaurant before, mind you, in Florida. We went for his birthday, Texas Day Brazil. I'm so excited. I'm like, we're about to have this nice dinner. It's very expensive to eat there. It's like, I think the bill is like 100, almost $200, okay? It's just fancy. It's so good when we had in florida it was so good we're probably like 30 minutes into eating the room starts spinning the room is spinning and i start sweating which either means one of two things i'm gonna pass out or i'm gonna throw up i know that when i start sweating i'm gonna throw up or i'm gonna pass it's gonna be one of the two so i didn't know if i was literally gonna pass out at our dinner i have like a history of passing out like i'll just pass out places like it's actually kind of scary so i'm literally sitting there and i'm like Some, something's going on like the room is spinning i'm fucking having a panic attack and he's like calm down drink water like it's you're gonna be okay puke i just start violently puking thank god we had those napkins you know like the napkins they give you a cheesecake like not the disposable ones no baby the ones that they wash i just start violently puking into the napkin that we had three napkins at the table i puked three times in all three of the napkins thank god i didn't have to puke another time because we had no more napkins left i literally threw it's all oh my god it's like trying to make me feel better like don't worry nobody saw babe people saw i was very good at like concealing it it was only in the napkin i just started like projectile vomiting into these napkins so literally ruined our valentine's day dinner <laughs> when we got back into the car I'm busting into tears crying because I'm like, I ruined our Valentine's Day dinner. Like Yesterday, he goes in the morning to take me to Starbucks. We're in the drive-thru. I'm like, I don't even know if I can eat and drink. I feel so sick. I feel so nauseous. Like something is going on. You know, like something is going on with my body. I do not feel good. I was up with my matcha. I get home and I'm like, I something is wrong. For a little TMI, it was coming out both ends. No, it was violent and extreme food poisoning. I do not wish that sh upon my worst fucking enemy. The I don't even have any enemies, but baby, I don't wish that shit on anybody. Like, we have to clean the bathroom today because it is um, the shit that's just like going on in here. I couldn't move from the toilet. Feeling like a little bit better today. I'm still probably not gonna eat a lot. Yesterday I couldn't eat anything. So then I look up the restaurant because I'm like, okay, threw up at dinner. At dinner, at the table, I threw up. So something's gotta be going on here. Like, why did I throw up? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I look up the place that we went to eat. Tell me why there's so many people like leaving reviews saying that they got food poisoning from that place. I was like, Bad. and you know i was kind of grossed out a little bit like probably like 10 minutes before i threw up because the meat was so pink and bloody and it was like touching my rice and it was like touching my sides and i was like hmm, i'm not sure how i'm feeling about that and then i literally threw up and so i know that those bitches gave me e coli because it can actually live in your body up to like i don't know like nine days or something seven days and you can like get multiple waves of it. So I think I like got sick when I was eating it and then it just like the coli, it came back in full force. I'm gonna show you guys what I got for Valentine's Day. It's so cute, he got me a bag. Look at that. <laughs> when I opened it, I was like, no, you freaking did it. I love this bag. I love this bag so much. The little cherries on his little coach bag, but like the material is like rattan. I guess you would say, I don't know. It's like very much, um, like that summery material. You know what I'm talking about? It's literally just me in a bag. I just love it. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. Ah! 
we still had fun. The week was still as fun as it could be. You know what I mean? We went to LA, we went to Melrose. We went to the Titanic Museum. I know he did not want to go. Bless his heart for going with me. But like an exhibit. We don't have a museum here in LA. We just have, they started the exhibit I think in November. My inner child was just like dying. When I was younger, I was just weirdly and oddly obsessed with the Titanic. So that was just so cool to me. I know that they have one in Tennessee and in Missouri. So I really want to go to those sometime in my life. You know, if I'm ever in those states, I would love to go to the actual museums. Um, Cause it's essentially like the same thing, but the museums have more than the exhibit. You got this little photo from it. It was so cool. I wore like a green, uh, sweater and it's like a green screen and she's like do you have anything under that like you're literally gonna be a floating head so he gave me the sweater that he was wearing which is actually my sweater but he was wearing it but yeah it was so fun so if you're in LA I think it's like $30 a person like I definitely would recommend if you're into the Titanic it's definitely cool insert clips of it if you're not in LA or you want to see it or just don't want to pay for it again confirmation I know I found Titanic really really wanted to cycle this morning i'm so sad that i couldn't hopefully i can go tomorrow but i'm really trying to take it easy on my body obviously not trying to do too much because i still don't feel that great but i feel good enough to like pick up you know clean some stuff up so as long as i could just get the bathroom and the bedroom you know cleaned up then i'm happy um but yeah i think it's just gonna be a chill day sit in bed watch youtube and i'll probably see you guys tomorrow i really really want to make it to cycle and pilates tomorrow so we'll see do you like my hoodie by the way oh we went to the nike store it's so cute this was on clearance and then it was an additional 15 percent off i paid ten dollars for this crew neck and it's so freaking cute it's got like just colored nike signs everywhere who the fuck i was like i don't even really want it that bad but ten dollars Good morning, you guys. Hold on, let me move my steering wheel down. Oops, because it's like in the way. Um, I'm going to cycle this morning. My outfit is really cute. I want to show you guys. It's all pink, and I stopped at clean juice i got a double one with hemp protein and then a protein toast because i'm starving i'm finally gonna eat like real food today yesterday i just had saltines and rice i can't even film like this is so fucking annoying <laughs> literally having the worst week <sighs> i'm really struggling yesterday was really hard I can't even fucking talk. Yesterday was really, really hard for me. Um, I'm just dealing with like a lot, a lot, like a lot of problems, like family problems, and it's just hard. It's hard because. It's just hard to like fight with people that you really care about. And it's miserable. I've literally just been having the worst fucking week ever. And from getting food poisoning to fucking, I just want to be happy. So I hate when people like argue with me and like, I hate arguing. It's just hard to make everybody happy. <laughs> and also make yourself happy. It's like, it's impossible. It's literally impossible. <laughs> Sorry that I'm fucking boohoo crying. This is so fucking embarrassing. <sighs> uh. 
I just want to fucking go to cycle, drink my juice, and be happy. <sighs> and eat my toast. I wanted to cancel my cycle so bad this morning. Because I was just like, I can't do this. But I was like, maybe it'll make me feel better. If I just go and like get a good workout in. <sighs> but... If this vlog sucks, I'm sorry. Know that the bad times will make me appreciate all the good times, but God. Like when are those coming, you know? It just feels like miserable. Anyways, that's what's going on this morning. <laughs> um Oh that was gross. I just looked at my snot. Does anybody else do that? I definitely look every time. But, yeah, I'm just gonna eat my toast. I got a protein toast. The girl that made my toast, she literally smiled at me and that just, like, sent me over the fucking edge. Like, I literally walked out of there bawling. I was like, oh my god. Because it's like, she's so happy and it's like, I wanna be like that too. That's why when people say like Being nice to people goes a long way It fucking does Like her just smiling at me when she handed me my toast Fucking sent me over the edge <laughs> Honestly was the highlight of my fucking morning I'm gonna eat my toast And go to cycle That's my morning I'm sorry that it's not all peaches and rainbows. But this is life. And last time I was in a really dark place, I didn't film it. So this time, I am. Alright. I'll see you guys. I want to show you my outfit. It's really cute. I'm wearing my new... Nike set. It's really, really cute. So, I'll show you guys when I get to cycle. Okay. 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 Horrible. Oh, horrible. That was literally so hard. I wasn't last though. And last time I came, I came on last Monday and I was second out of 13 people. There was 10 people in there and I was fourth this time. But I'm getting better, y'all. I'm not last, okay? Even though it doesn't really matter. Like, I wasn't even, like, upset about being last. But it's like, I can tell I'm progressing, which makes me excited. You know what I'm saying? So... That was really, really exciting to me, I felt like. But now I feel sick. Like, I think that was a little bit too much for my body. I wasn't even thinking about doing Pilates tonight, but I... Crazy how a workout can literally change your whole vibe. I mean, like, I'm still having a shit day. And I'm probably gonna go home and cry, but, like, at least I got a workout in. See how many calories I burned. I went 13 miles. That's like a marathon or something. What is it? Like a half marathon? I don't know. 13 is the farthest that I've ever gone. I don't think I've ever gone more than 13 miles. Did they not send me my summary? They didn't send it to me yet. Usually they'll send it to your email like right after the class finishes. So I can check like how long I went. And my calories and everything but yeah i'm just gonna sit my drink go home i've kind of got a lot of stuff to do today because there was a lot of stuff that needed to get done when i was sick that just obviously didn't get done because i was peeking my brains out i think i'm gonna revisit this book that i have at home i'll show you guys when we get home it's called the magic it's like from the same lady that wrote the secret everybody's heard of the secret if you've never seen the secret like it, i'm sure it's still on netflix but it's like all about manifestation and you know but it's from the same lady and she makes this like 28 day guide of and every time i feel like my life needs 
something I go back and revisit that book and it just is the best I feel like I'm gonna throw up right now Alright y'all, it is later since the last time we talked. Hi! Hurley's under the blanket. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Oh, what could it? Anyways, it's been some time later. Also, don't talk about this being like, look at how off center this is now. Because I had to move my bed to make their bed fit in the corner. It's a whole process. So now I have to move these pictures a little bit over to the side because i wanted their bed to fit in this corner right here do you see so i started my period so i'm like can this day just get any worse <laughs> yes now i have to renew my license <laughs> babes what 41 dollars for what i was like Everything costs money in this world. Like nothing can, nothing is free. Nothing can ever be free. Oh, I wanted to show you guys too. Hold on, let me move this stuff. Let me move this stuff into this folder over here. Okay, I wanted to show you guys. I made a, what is it? A vision board. I was gonna call it a Pinterest board. A vision board on um, Canva. Look at how freaking cool. I made it my screensaver just a collage of stuff that like I want to be manifesting there's like fitness on here like luxury I got a picture of like some best friends some health related like Pilates a picture of a house I even photoshopped someone else's Spotify number listeners on my name yes I'm delusional. Yes, I am. That's what a vision board is. You're literally manifest. You're trying to manifest the good, all the good stuff you want in your life. So that's basically what I did. I get a girl standing here looking at some fucking lettuce. Like it's a vibe. Go onto Canva. It's free, and literally just put a collage together. So I put 2023, and I made it my home screen as well on my phone. I love the digital vision board I think it's a vibe like usually you just print and cut out photos but I love this I think I'm gonna continue to do this every year anyways why did I shut my computer like no babes you need to pay this license renewal because it's about to be up don't grow up and be an adult it's I don't recommend it no nope. it's really not the vibe it says by 20 May 2025 that everyone has to have a real ID to even board a plane like what is that what is the difference between a real ID and a license like what, why? I've been hearing about this for the past couple years. Like they've been saying that this is a thing, but like, what is it really? You know what I'm saying? Like why Why is a license not gonna work anymore? You have to have a real, like by 2025, everybody's gotta have a real ID. I'm just trying to live and vibe. This was the dinner that I had this night. You guys, this was so good. It was the Bonza chickpea pasta mixed with like Cajun, uh, like tofu stuff. And oh my god, just some veggies on the side. This was so good. Alright, you guys. I got y'all leaning up against a literal candle that is lit. Not a good idea. Let me set you over here. It is a lot later now. It's like 8 p.m. This is the book in question. This is the book that I come back to every single time that something is going wrong in my life. Like it's literal magic. So since I've read the book so many times, I now when I revisit it, 
I'll literally just go like this. And pick any page. So the day that I flipped to was day seven, the magical way out of negativity. So I'm just going to read the passage. I always read them because even though I've read them like a million times, it's like, I just like to read like, you know, to freshen up. Is that a fucking bug? Yeah, you're going to get the fuck out of here. So today's practice is going to be you take one problem or negative situation in your life that you most want to resolve and look for 10 things to be grateful for so they give you the example of like um your problem may be that you're out of work you have to write 10 things about being out of work that you're grateful for like it'll give it gives you the list of like 10 examples like i'm so grateful to have more time for my family during this period so on and so forth like thinking of 10 reasons that are positive out of your situation of being out of work i'm definitely going to be probably doing that for the next couple days I really feel like I need it. It was in there talking about don't be complaining and I was like I've been a complainer. I've been a complainer. Okay, like some days I'm just like let me fucking complain. Because like sometimes life is really annoying and you just need to complain before you can like be off and happy rainbows. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes like when I want to complain and someone's like don't worry, it's great. It's I'm like shut up. And just let me complain like let me complain for five minutes and then i will be a happy rainbow shitting farts of unicorn cries they knew that i needed to hear that if it's one thing about me i'm complaining <laughs> i'm gonna do this on my laptop because i did not bring a notepad up here i thought i did like i thought that i had a notepad up here but no i don't so i really want to bring like a journal or get a journal to bring up here i think i have some downstairs in the studio but um yeah i want to start journaling i think i need that honestly like to get my feelings out or therapy i need therapy but a journal will work for now okay I picked my entire week as a whole like literally the entire freaking week because it's just been one ginormous mess and I just wrote all the things that I was grateful for that were good about the week sorry I got jazz music playing in the back <laughs> love this stuff like things on YouTube are literally the best and they're so cute like this one is rainy day at cozy hobbit cafe with jazz relaxing music sorry y'all i can't read okay and i'm gonna take my yummy okay i'm gonna take these got some new ones they're pink lemonade when we went to the titanic museum and all we went to melrose and they have a cookie store there and it had so much more stuff than the one that's like closer to us so i got these and they're pretty good pink lemonade so i'm gonna take one of these so i can sleep i've been having such trouble sleeping so i'm gonna take me a little gum they're so cute look at them a whole one because i don't care i don't care okay a couple months ago i was like yeah i only take a half no screw that i'm trying to be knocked the fuck out <laughs> i'm trying to be <sighs> passed out still got some i don't know if anybody cares like is this interesting probably not but I also got these ones those ones are indica which i love that's like much much better for me but this is a hybrid which is still good but they're like sour gummies but i love anything blueberry so i thought that these would be interesting but yeah they're blueberry sour gummy belts that is it for tonight i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow i don't know what we're doing tomorrow let me look at my phone i always have some sort of agenda on my phone in my notes app always always baby um i have more laundry to do yeah didn't get to do my uh bed sheets today because i had so much laundry listen because listen i literally do my laundry like once a month i'm gonna go to pilates at 7 30 because i haven't been to pilates and my pass for pilates is only for the month 
So it's like, babes, if you don't use up all your passes, like that's just a waste of money. Why would you do that? We wanted to go to the grocery store tomorrow too. I don't know if I want to go to Trader Joe's. I think I need to find a different grocery store. But I really want to go to some grocery store and just get some food. We have no food, but like I want to get some vegetarian and like vegan options because the thought of meat right now is repulsing me to my entire core being. It grosses me out so much that I'm like, I don't want to go through a drive through and get any type of meat. I don't want to make it at home. I don't want to see it in a train. I don't want to see it in a plane. I'd rather jump off a bridge right now than eat any type of meat product. I don't know how long that I'm going to be like that. Y'all, the last time I got food poisoning, it was from something that had buffalo sauce on it. I remember that. I can't remember what it was, but it was something that had buffalo sauce on it. I have never been able to eat buffalo sauce ever again. Buffalo sauce. I've never, ever, never, ever been able to eat it ever again. That was four years ago. Because every time I even smell buffalo sauce, I want to throw up can't even look at a steak i can't even look at a chicken i can't look at anything that's got legs and poops <laughs> it's some vegetarian and maybe vegan options for me to eat right now because that wipes out a big chunk of my food my protein if i eat something that's meat i will physically be ill like the thought ugh, the thought of it makes me ugh, like, <laughs> the thought of it makes me really sick honestly like literally talking about it right now is giving me the heebie jeeps making me nauseous so i just wanted to go to like i don't know maybe we'll go to like whole foods or something and just try to find something like something that i can replace um for meat so yeah hello hi thank you so much perfect good morning y'all oh my camera's gonna die shut the hell up when we went to Melrose, literally two days later, Drake was on Melrose. I was like, why could we went that day? Anyways, I'm at Whole Foods. Good morning. I got a matcha and these egg bites. I cannot eat much. After I got sick, I swear like one egg bite and I'm done for the next like five hours. Like I can't. Like I don't even know if I'll be able to drink this matcha, but let's go into Whole Foods. I was telling you guys last night I want to get some vegan vegetarian options. So we're just gonna see what they what they have, okay? I wanted to give you a Whole Foods haul because my what the hell was that? They have so many options. That's definitely my new grocery store for the moment. I'll revisit Trader Joe's maybe like in the summer, but for right now. I want to try out everything that Whole Foods has. They have so many options that I feel like I just, it'll take me a long time to try them all. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I kind of needed and what I was missing from Trader Joe's is like variety. There's just not much variety at Trader Joe's when you've been shopping there for literally years and I've tried everything. So I got some toasted muesli. This stuff is so good. You can like eat it like cereal or you can eat it hot or you can eat it just like granola, which is what I'm gonna do. I got this lemon rice. I've never ever had lemon rice, but it just looked so good. Got some avocados because I want to have an avocado toast today. This sunny sausage patty it's like a gluten-free bagel with a plant-based patty in it i thought i could like put an egg in there and some cheese and like make a whole sandwich and all these are really 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 good these daring breaded plant-based these taste like chicken nuggets actually i think they might be better than chicken nuggets they're good like they're good. i don't need to ever go to chick-fil-a or canes or anything ever again as long as i have like a sauce these are my go-to okay they are so good like i was eating these before i was even not wanting to eat meat they're really really good some marinated tofu is this already made up i don't know like do i put it on the stove or not like it looks like they already grilled it 
like what anyways this is sweet chili sweet chili tofu it was the last one so i was like it's gotta be good like it's gotta be good and i was thinking of putting it with like some broccoli and my lemon rice I'm sorry, that sounds good to me. Got some of this chopped chicken. I thought that I could season it up and make little um, tacos. So I thought that that would be interesting. Bread from my avocado toast, two Oatly yogurts. I've never tried the Oatly yogurts, but one is mixed berry, one is vanilla. They were on sale, so I was like, all right. And for breakfasts, I got these sweet potato hash browns. I'm really excited to try these because I love regular hash browns. Y'all know the Trader Joe's half browns, but I'm excited to try these because they're made out of sweet potato. So why not? <laughs> Strawberries looked mega delicious. Like, look at these. No. Their produce is fire. It is so good. So I got me some strawberries because I've been eating so many strawberries. Been watching me since Florida. You know about these. You know about these. Okay, this is the Three Trees Pistachio. I've been wanting to try this, but they never had it in Florida. They just didn't sell it in that state. I swear to God, like I could never find it. But they had it. They had it. The pistachio. The pi I'm so excited. I love anything pistachio. So this one's pistachio. This one's vanilla bean, which I haven't tried yet either. So I'm excited to use these in like acai bowls or smoothies. Got some sour cream. I'm still eating like cheese and eggs and everything. It's just meat. That's my issue right now. But I did get like some other vegan options. So I got dairy free sour cream because I've had this before and it's actually really good. I don't know if it was this one or if it was the Kite Hill one. But I didn't want to buy the Kaiho one because I bought it before and I opened it and had mold on it. What? One thing about me, I'm gonna eat a zucchini bread. I'm gonna make one, I'm gonna eat one. I love zucchini bread. It's like one thing that I just love. I got the last one. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it. All my friends are like, ew, that's crazy. But I'm like, just have a piece and you'll understand. It's so good. There's another thing people clown me about. What is it? My green bean casserole. Green bean. No, you don't understand. All my friends are like, that's white people food. Babes, look at me. I'll fuck up a green bean casserole. Don't, don't, don't do that. That is probably going to wrap up this vlog. This was only a couple days vlog. I'm sorry, so it's probably short, but I love y'all and I'm gonna see you in the next motherfucking video. Bye.